So in about seven weeks, President-elect Donald Trump will move back into the White House, and he's already made his top priorities clear, including his vow to bring much-needed change to the Department of Education. Throughout the campaign, Trump's been talking about eliminating the DOE altogether in hopes of returning the power to states, their communities, and especially to parents. This after we're seeing a massive drop in performance with students. Get this, national math and reading scores are at their lowest point since 1993. It's no secret something needs to change for our children. For more, let's welcome in guest faculty at the Leadership Institute School Board Programs and CEO of Optima Ed, Erica Donalds. Thank you so much for joining me, Erica. So I know you are a fierce education activist. Do you think the president-elect will be able to successfully get rid of the Department of Education? And is this the right move to help our kids? Well, it absolutely is the right move. The Department of Education has proven that it cannot meet its mandate to increase academic proficiency amongst children across the country, as you just stated. Uh, Since its existence, we've actually gone down in our performance, especially relative to the rest of the world. But Donald Trump will need cooperation from Congress, and we know how difficult that might be with such a slim majority in the House and the filibuster in the Senate. However, there are a lot of things that he can do to streamline the department Uh, through executive action and through administrative action. And I think between him and the Doge, we should definitely be able to get it done, whether it's shutting it down completely or majorly streamlining it, make it more efficient for the American people. Yeah, so the Department of Education was established under Jimmy Carter in 1976, then it went into effect in 1980. And lately we've seen, as you mentioned, the largest decline in math scores since 1990 for both fourth and eighth graders. That's not good. And despite a 245% spending increase, Test scores have barely gone up. What do you make of this? Well, when parents have the ability to choose and hold their schools accountable, that is when we will actually see free market competition take place and improvement across the board. Uh, What we don't want to see is this federal top-down mandated programming that has not worked. Uh, We need more school choice. We need more free market competition. We need more diverse supply when it comes to uh, what is being offered in our communities, we have to get rid of the government monopoly in education if we really want to see improvement across the board. And I love what Donald Trump was saying. Not only does he want to get rid of the Department of Education and the onerous waste uh, that takes place there, but he wants to empower parents. And we see some proposals around uh, tax credits that would allow states to then push down that savings to parents, whether it's through block grants or tax credits, We want to see more empowerment in the hands of parents, more competition and better results. And I know you're such a strong advocate of school choice, as you mentioned. Why is that so important? Listen, I served on the school board here in Collier County, Florida, and I found out how broken this system is. It is not going to reform itself. It's going to take parents like me voting with their feet, letting the system know it's not meeting the needs of their children. And everyone operating in that way is going to do just what the free market does in every situation. It improves the quality of the offerings and it makes the quality offerings more accessible to more people. So I strongly believe in giving parents that ability through ESAs, education scholarship accounts, like we've done here in Florida, in Arizona, and in other states. And I think that's going to continue to expand across the country so that parents uh, can take advantage of these other opportunities that work better for their children. I want to ask you about Linda McMahon, obviously being tapped for Secretary of Education. Why is she the right person for this job? Listen, I'm really excited about this appointment. I strongly believe we need an executive in that uh, department in order to lead it into oblivion, hopefully. (laughs) Uh, Someone like Linda McMahon, who's been an executive, both in the private sector, of course, with her very successful business, but also leading the SBA and understanding what it is like to lead a large bureaucratic organization like that. She has the experience on both sides to be able to lead and to get Donald Trump's promises, promises made, promises kept. We want to hear him be able to say that about the department. Mm -hmm. Uh, She's also served on the state school board and on university uh, boards of directors. So she's been on the education side as well. I think she's the perfect person for the job. Yeah. And you mentioned how important it is to give the rights back to the parents. So gender and sexuality have made its way to the forefront of conversations in schools with some states like California, not even requiring parents notification of their child's pronoun change in school. I know you're a mother as well and someone who has founded charter schools across Florida. So does eliminating the DOE give rights back to the parents? 
Well, one of the things when I was on the school board is we got a dear colleague letter from the Obama administration telling us that we had to allow students to use bathrooms of their choice and did not have to consult the parents. So those are the type of things that the department has tried to push down, uh, taking away parents' rights. We want to see the opposite occur. We want parents to have more rights. We do not want the federal government to be able to encourage schools to take those rights away. So I think this is even more reason why we need to eliminate that federal bureaucracy and push those rights back down to the local level. All right, Erica Donalds, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.